that's a shot from about 21 yards. Nothing too crazy for any handgun, particularly this right here. This is uh, my new 1911. This is the Vickers Tactical Masterclass with the whole collaboration between Larry Vickers, Wilson Combat, and Springfield Armory. I'm really excited about this, but instead of just doing like this whole review on it and just plinking up close, which I usually do, and will probably do, do at the end of this video, I'm personally curious what my own limit is when it goes to silly ranges with the handgun. So we're gonna go ahead and take this and just kind of walk out to some range. I got a range finder in my pocket. So we'll probably start off with like intervals of 50 yards and then we'll just find what my personal limit is. This right here is the six hour uh, P226 Legion SAO or single action only. Super nice flat trigger. As you guys can see, they're pretty darn light, break, very light break actually. The sights are great. Um, overall kind of ergonomics like a 1911 without the back safety. Uh, grip safety, I should say, but uh, everything else is great. This is an 18 round capacity 9mm versus this right here. It came with two Wilson Combat mags that hold eight rounds each. 45 drops off like a brick more, so I'm going to try initially with the 45, uh, 1911, and then we'll probably swap out to the 226 once I start reaching my limit. I feel like I could probably go further with this, but you know what? We'll find out. I put my cowboy hat on. That usually gets me a little bit more accurate, so I'm uh, using everything. little low all right second shot I'll take that I was a little low on that first one uh, let's just do a big skip right out to 100 all right 100 yards something I've done before just not with the 1911 so this is new for me left and low way low yeah 45 drops like a rock Oh, just over its head. All right, well, it took a while, but we got a hit. Um, I might only try one more progression with the 1911, just because that 45 really arcs, but uh, the gun feels great. All right, well, we got to 100. It just uh, took a few rounds. 150 feels like a thousand. <laughs> this is all new to me. So if I could shoot even one here, that's already my new record. All right. It's kind of hard finding a consistent point of aim I'm just I don't know we're just gonna send it low way low now the dust is covering my target all right I've got like four shots <laughs> way way low Low again. Five shots, I guess. Or six. Oh yeah, that's like way off low and left. All right, well, that's at 200 yards. No hits off of a, a few attempts there. Got a hit at 150 and I'm actually happy with that. I remember this spot right here. Let's uh, pick it up with uh, the Legion. See if I get any better luck with that. Before you guys write some crap in the comment section, just please do me a favor, look outside, range out 200 yards. It's some range out, man. And uh, you're just not gonna be good at something you don't do often. I can count on one hand how many times I've taken a handgun and shot over 100 yards or 100 yards. If this isn't my fourth time, maybe it's my fifth. So I, I just rarely do it. 200 yards though. All right. That's a tough one shooting right into that shaded uh, berm there, but let's find out here. Tough, I cannot see where the heck it's landing. All right, the main issue there is, it's just so hard to see where I'm missing. I've only saw like two where they missed. One was way high, one was way low, and I was just kind of all over the place. See if I could get lucky, but it's just tough right now. It's so bright out, but I'm shooting into the sun, so it's just hard to see any kind of splash. But, all right, let's just keep it going. All right, barely to the left on that one.
I don't think that was steel. I think that was probably just the rock. I got excited for a second. No luck, pure skill. Let's move on. All right, I didn't fully load this mag. If it doesn't happen, it doesn't happen. I've got 10 shots of nine millimeter, uh, especially right now, nine millimeter goes for the price of a Barrett M107. So I'm, you know, really just kind of dumping it here, but 10 rounds, I try to be real careful. If it doesn't happen, I know that my limit was 200. We're at 250 right now, and you know, if it doesn't happen today, I'll uh, pick it up another day, but let's see. One more. All right, that was a little silly. Still kind of fun though, but uh, I want to shoot these pistols more in their element. I really want to get more trigger time with the Springfield Armory 1911, the uh, LAV uh, Masterclass. Let's go ahead and load up uh, eight rounds with the uh, Wilson Combat Mag here. I want to thank ETS for sponsoring this video. We're going to use their speed loaders to get some rounds here. That's three, five, should be eight right there. Plunge these down. Elite Tactical Systems, they make these speed loaders. They also make magazines as well. Someone put some fruit here. That's not dramatic. I love missing the last shot. It just makes me feel so good. Five shots, just place them on this one, why not? Slick, slick gun, man. I like that a lot. Looks good too. All right, you guys have already seen the 226 Legion, but it won't hurt to shoot it just a little bit more. I'm terrible today, I just gotta say it. All right, the SB9A3 is the gun you guys have already seen before, but I've got my optic on it. Put a link in the description, this Hollow Sun uh, 530 series is really, really nice. Uh, you guys could use the code Texas Plinking, save 5% on anything from Optics Planet. I appreciate their support. All right, 10 round subsonic. That's like the dream setup. That thing is quiet. Something to say, this is my first hollow sun and I really, really like it. Not gonna lie, it's kind of a pretty penny. They're going for $4.99 for this reticle, the green dot, uh, but it's two reticles. You get just a simple dot or a dot with the ring around it. You can change between the reticles here, adjust the sight here, QD mount. Really, really sweet. I will say, if you're gonna run it on a Strybog, it is possible. You're just gonna be up a little bit more than you might like. Uh, comfortable would probably be down here. So if you're gonna run that on an AR platform, perfect. But uh, yeah, really, really cool optic. Link in the description if you guys are interested. And I've already made a video review with the A1 and this right here, A3, but I thought it wouldn't hurt to throw it back in here with the Rugged Obsidian 45. But yeah, if you guys are interested in this, already made a uh, previous video. Well guys, my camera is about to die. So I think that's just about gonna wrap it up for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll probably do a part two eventually when I can really stretch it out, even past 250 yards. But hey, for today's performance, I'm all right. But anyway, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Take care.